Well, to the latest now on the unrest in Egypt, as cries of Egypt is free echo through the streets. Today, Egyptians made history after 18 days of massive protests. Here's the very latest. Egypt's military took control of the country today as President Hosni Mubarak resigned as president. Mubarak stepped down just hours after Egypt's Muslims observed afternoon prayers. And tonight, the celebrations can be heard worldwide, including right here in Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer spoke with an Egyptian native tonight and joins us live from our mobile newsroom with more on what he had to say. The ouster of Egypt's president brought, brought tears of joy and relief to many, including one young man who said no one could predict or believe this outcome would ever happen. As the celebrations continue in Egypt and across the Middle East Friday, following the resignation of President Hosni Mubarak, in his providence, Egyptian native Hani Atiyah is jubilant. I'm so, so happy of what we have achieved because this is the revolution of the people, the people of Egypt. Finally, their voice has been heard. Last week, when we first met Atiyah, who came to the U.S. 10 years ago from Alexandria, Egypt, he was glued to the television and watched the uprising unfold. By Thursday, after 17 days of unrest and Mubarak refusing to step down, Atiyah had growing concern for his homeland and his family. When this conflict happened, the military has to choose. And we were so worried. Not only me, everyone was so worried. What is going to happen? The military is going to take the side of the people of Egypt or is going to take the side of the president? Then Atiyah received a phone call in the middle of the night from back home and was pleased to hear Mubarak left peacefully. My mom told me, like, uh, wake up, watch the TV, because uh, he already resigned. In the near future, Atiyah says Egypt can choose a new leader democratically. This is the first time I believe that Egypt get to choose who's going to run the country. Have you popped any champagne? <laughs> uh, I, after I finish work, I will. <laughs> And Atiyah says Egypt is thankful to the U.S. and President Obama for its friendship and its support. And he says he believes that Egypt, if it reworks its constitution, forms new laws and a new parliament, will find a solution and create a new government on its own. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.